Okay, next lesson, but um, some of the same concepts here. We're going to continue to work on solving these equations using elimination. The difference now is that we don't have same coefficients to work with, like not even where they're exactly the same or where they're additive inverses of each other. We're going to have, uh, you're going to see right away in this first equation, we've got 5x plus 6y equals negative 8, and we've got 2x plus 3y equals negative 5. And you might be thinking, well, nothing lines up, so what do we do? So what we look for is we're going to look for, first of all, do I have a variable where both of the coefficients are basically factors of each other? right, where I can multiply one of the equations, or I should say where one of the equations has a coefficient that is a factor of the other same variable coefficient. So if you look at our axes, 2 and 5, those, those aren't factors of each other. 2 is not a factor of 5. 5 is obviously not a factor of 2. But if you look at our y's, 3 is a factor of 6. And in order to make my 3, 6, I would multiply that bottom equation by 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation and we're going to multiply it by 2. All right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my top equation because I didn't do anything to that. Equals negative 8. And then I'm going to rewrite my bottom equation but with that multiplication happening. So 2 times 2 is 4x. 2 times 3y is 6y. Now I can see how we're doing here, right? We're in good shape. And then 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, oh, cool. I can subtract these from each other. All right. Now, if you wanted to, the other thing you could do is you could multiply this by negative 2 so that you make it the opposite. So let's do that, and let's see what happens. I think you'll find it's a little easier. So that would make this negative 4x, that would make this negative 6y, and that would make this 10 positive. So I think I like that better. I think we should focus on that. So we have 5x, negative 4x, 6y, negative 6y, and then negative 8 and 10. We did nothing to the top equation other than copy it down. The bottom one we multiplied by a factor of negative 2 so that I could get the opposite, the opposite but same looking coefficient, right? So the additive inverse of it over there. So now let's add these things together because, and the reason I decided to do the negative is because adding is a lot easier than subtracting. So 5 and negative 4 just gives you x. These cancel out and then you get 2. And just like that, We've got, we've got something good going on here. All right, so let's take this then, let's plug it into that, the original bottom equation. So 2 times 2 plus 3y equals negative 5. Notice I'm using this, not what we did to it, not the Frankenstein equation, but just the original. All right, so 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3y equals negative 5. We're going to subtract 4 from both sides. And you're going to get 3y is equal to negative 9, which means that y, when you divide both by 3 is equal to negative 3. So my solution is the point 2, negative 3. And if I put that in my top equation, let's put that in to make sure that I did this right. Because I like to check my work. 10 plus negative 18. Does that equal negative 8? It does. Negative 8 equals negative 8. All right, now let's do it again. All right. So 3x plus 2y equals negative 9, and x minus y equals negative 13. All right, so for this one, I am going to, I can do either one. And I think it would be easier to do the y's on this one because this time I can multiply it by a positive 2, and then these, because they have opposite signs, will then cancel out by addition. So we're going to copy this first one down, 3x plus 2y equals negative 9. And then we're going to multiply this bottom one by 2. So you get 2x minus 2y equals negative 26. So now I'm going to add these together. Remember, I, want, I, I like setting these up so you can add them because I think that I personally make fewer mistakes when I do that. 5x equals negative 35 because 9 plus 26, they're both positive, is 35. So they're both negative. It's the same operation basically just keep your negative divide them both by five 
the x is equal to negative 7. Let's put that in um, our bottom equation. So we have negative 7 minus y equals negative 13. So let's, uh, let's move that negative 7 by adding it to both sides. So you get negative y is equal to negative 6. And then just to tidy this up, let's multiply the whole thing by negative 1. We get y is equal to 6. So I should have the point negative 7, 6. As always, you should check your work. So let's check our work. I'm putting it in the other equation, the one I didn't really use that much. All right, so the top equation in this case, 3 times negative 7, substitute in your x. There's your y, all right, you get negative 21 plus 12 equals negative 9. So now let's um, add these two together, and you do get negative 9, negative 9. Works out, so this is a good equation. We like this, and we have time for one more equation here. Okay, so on this one, if I look at this, um, it looks like two and five, again, don't really work well together, but one and three do. So I'm gonna multiply this top equation by negative three. Okay, so that's gonna give me negative six x minus three y equals zero. Zero times anything is zero. Then you have five x, plus 3y equals 2. And now I can just add these up. So I'm going to get negative x, or negative 1x, whatever you want to call it. I call it negative x, equals 2. So multiply both sides by negative 1 to tidy that up. x equals negative 2. So let's put this back in the top, the original top equation. So 2 times negative 2 plus y equals zero, you get negative four, plus y equals zero, which means that if I add four to both sides, I get y is equal to four. So if I did this correctly, the point negative two, four will be my solution. Let's put it in this bottom equation. So five times negative two plus three times four equals two. So negative 10 plus 12 equals 2, negative 10 and 12 do in fact add up to 2. 2 equals 2, so I'm happy, you're happy, we're all happy. That's a good thing. So hopefully this is starting to make some sense to you. We'll do, uh, we'll do some more problems in the next video that are deal with what do we do when we have to multiply both of the equations. All right, so here we go. We'll see you in the next one.